to add the pipe segment, we return to the model palette and we look for the pipe segment. We add that to your process and doing a double click on that, we need to define the connections and you can see that we need to define the inlet, the outlet and we have also a energy. So in this case, I have the inlet as the stream 2. I will create the stream 3 as the outlet and in this case my energy related to the pipe we, I will call loss heat. So you can see that you can define streams as numbers but also as names. And to add a segment we go to the rating tab and here you click in append segment. So the first thing that you will do is add a segment and as standard, the segment that is added is a pipe, but you can add other segments and you can change that to T's to plug clock angle and it is kind of valves. There are check valves, butterfly valves and many other kinds of stuffs here. It will depend on the objective of your process simulation. So this is not the case right now. We can delete that and I will be only with the pipe segment one. And I have the length defined in my problem. So this is 400 meters. And you can change the unit if you want. Every time that you see the arrow is because you have options to change that. And the elevation is zero according to the problem. But you can change it also if your pipe segment is going up, you will define a number here, a positive number. And if your pipe is going down, you will define the elevation as negative. In the problem, we have a reference for the roughness of the pipe and we will change the roughness of our pipe. And I will just add the same information that I have in my problem. And in this case, we have 45.2 micrometers. And in this case, micrometers is 10 elevated to minus 6. I don't have a reference to pipe size and in fact it is what the problem wants to solve and for now I will let that empty but I need to define the kind of heat transfer that will have between the tube and the environment. So in this case I will consider that it will be zero heat lost and in this case now I just need to define the pipe size. And to do that, I will use the utility pipe sizing. To add the utility pipe sizing, we need to have a fully specified stream. And to know if a stream is fully specified or not, you can see the color. So if you have dark blue, means that it is fully specified. And if you have light blue, it means that some information are missing. So I will click on these two times and I go to the attachment tabs and I go to analysis and click on create. I'm looking for pipe sizing and click on add and I will have a sub menu where I can define my pipe sizing according to some conditions, but it will not work in this stream because it is not fully specified and it is not fully specified because we don't have information related to temperature, pressure and all the vapor phases so it is not possible to add this utility in stream 2. So what I will do, I will use the utility 1 because my criteria is related to pressure drop and not to velocity. So to have a reference, I will do a double click here and I go to attachments, analysis, and I create, 
look for pipe sizing and click on add. And what I want is according to the item one of the pipe sizing hydraulics problem, the question is what would be the pipe size ID required for a allowable pressure drop of minus than 0.5 bar across the pipe assuming you found a supplier who sells commercial pipes sizes as per nc asme b31.3 so what i need to do right now is get the pressure drop the maximum pressure drop that i can have and i will divide that by the length that i have between the discharge of the pump and the inlet of the vessel b and i will get 0 0.00125 and i will add this information to my pressure drop so based on that Aspen High Seas will calculate the maximum diameter recommended to get to not surpass this pressure drop. So I have 0 0.00125 and I will change the unit or the reference that I want that is bar per meter. And in this case, the Aspen High Seas calculated to me a nominal pipe size of 2 inches. And if I go to performance related to the velocity, to Reynolds number, and also to the effective pressure drop calculation related to this size of pipe. So what I will do now is add this information to my pipe in the discharge of the pump. I go to outer diameter. And when I click two times, I will add the schedule 40 that was in my utility and I will choose the nominal diameter as 100. And now the only information that is missing is related to the inlet or the outlet of the pipe segment.